quick story for y'all. I remember years ago when I was the vice president of promotion at Bad Boy Records. We down in Miami and it's a gorgeous day. Man, it was like July, August sometimes. I just know it was midsummer and it was beautiful. It was one of them days where the birds are out singing, the sun is shining bright. I'm staying in a hotel like off of South Beach in the Brickle area, the Mandarin Oriental. And I'm in my hotel room and I'm sick to my stomach. I'm having the worst day ever. It's gorgeous outside and in my room, I am like literally having the worst day of my life. Now, let's call it a, a, a crisis of conscience or maybe better yet, it was a, a, a moment of clarity for me because you know how we all hear this voice inside of us and most of us just tend to ignore it? Like in my case, before that particular day, I had been ignoring this voice for about a year and a half. And on this particular day, it was no longer just a, a, what Oprah would refer to as a whisper. It was, it was like, like a yell. It was, Sean, it is time to go. It is time for you to hand in your resignation and start that business. And I'm sitting there and I'm scared to death. Like I'm literally scared to death. I knew what I had to do. I knew what that voice inside of me was telling me to do, but I was so scared. I was scared because what if I failed? What if I, what if I left this job, left my salary, and I fell flat on my face? But fear wasn't the only thing that I was feeling. My ego had gotten away. You know, let's, let's think about this. At that time, Bad Boy Records was the hottest thing going. We had all the hot artists. And I'm standing right next to Sean Diddy Combs. Like, like life was good. Like, everybody who knew me knew me as Sean Pratt from Bad Boy Records. It didn't matter where we went in the country, what zip code, area code we were in. People knew my name. My name was ringing out. It wasn't a club I couldn't get into. It was no access I didn't have. And then on top of it, something else was bothering me. I worked my whole life for this. Like, I, I, I always wanted to be in the music industry. I worked so hard and finally when I got in the music industry, I started as an intern and then became a coordinator. Worked my way up to director and now I'm a VP. So I'm gonna leave my VP stripes and my cushy salary and I'm gonna go out there and jump out the window and start Power Moves Inc. Marketing and Promotion? Are you kidding me? But I just couldn't ignore it no more. So when Monday came, I'm scared to death. I go down to HR and I hand in my resignation. But listen to this. This is where God stepped in. Because everything I feared, everything I was so scared of, God had it covered. While I was you know, stressed out, God had already worked it out. Who do you think my first client became? You know, I remember Puff was like, yo, I can't stop you from leaving, but I want to be your first client. And not only was Bad Boy Records my first client, but Sean Diddy Combs himself, Revolt, Ciroc Vodka, Sean John um, Clothing. I had inherited it all. God had figured this thing out for me. I couldn't see the future. I couldn't see how it was gonna work out. I was too busy worrying about failing, but he had all of this waiting for me. And if you are listening to this, and if you have this great idea, or if it's this thing inside of you that's telling you, now is the time for you to start your business, I'm telling you, go do it. Do it now, trust God, because God will not bring you to a place and leave you. It just doesn't work like that. If this thing is gnawing at you and it's gnawing at you and you can't get away from it, if you have a passion for something, I don't care if right now you are making a six figure salary and you've worked your whole life to get to a certain point and you got vice president or president stripes, but that company just doesn't do it for you anymore. And here you go from managing an entire team to jumping out the window and starting your own business and it's just you and you can only afford to hire one person and that person is an independent contractor at that, go do it. Because what 
God has waiting for you is so much greater than what it is that you're holding on to. And I got to believe if you are listening to this, you God must just need you to hear it. So if you're sitting there and you're pondering and you're delaying and you're, you're giving yourself all the reasons not to do it, let this be the okay from up above for you to go ahead and do it. And I'm telling you, I'm living proof of it. If you believe and you believe, like strongly believe in uh, that guy up there and in yourself and in your skill set, it will work out. It doesn't matter if you can see the path to where you're going to go. Just trust and believe that there's something greater waiting for you. Go start your business, not now, but right now. Peace and love make every move a power move. And I truly do wish all of you guys so much success in life. And I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.